Hey guys, what's up? This is James and welcome to a new Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Suppose this is a video and you want to show the love between you and your dog a little bit more and that is the reason you want to pause this specific frame of your video. How can you do that? Yes, you can do that using freeze frame feature in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today I am going to show you how you can pause a specific moment of your video in Adobe Premiere Pro using Adobe freeze frame there are several ways i'm going to show you three different ways that you can use the first one is using screenshot so here is our project and i want to just make a freeze frame in this point to do that i need to make a screenshot to make a screenshot you need to click on this button which called export frame option so if you don't see this option then you need to click on this plus icon then click and drag this export frame button here and then click ok the button is already there i need to click export frame then it will give me some option so the first one is name i need to give it a name my dog then i need to choose a format which is jpg for me because sometimes when i'm working with png or a bmp format it makes my project a little bit heavier that is the reason i uh, prefer to work with jpg format then you need to make sure you have checked this mark which is input into project and you can just browse here to uh, select a directory where you want to save the screenshot then click ok Premiere Pro will automatically make a screenshot here. Then you need to click and drag this section here. If you then just play back, then you can see the video is paused here because we have placed this screenshot on top of this layer. So to extend it, you need to make a trim here. Then just drag it here. Then place this screenshot in the middle of your clip. So here is our freeze frame. To make your freeze frame a little bit shorter you can just uh, click here and then press ctrl or command on your pc then drag it to the left it will make the portion a little bit shorter and if you just want to extend the duration then you need to press ctrl or command then you can just drag it to the right to make it a little bit longer so here is the first way that you can use to make a screenshot i'm just undoing all of my edits and i'm going to show you the second way which is my personal favorite so i want to make a freeze frame here premiere pro already have some option to make a freeze frame i need to select the clip and right click on it then you will see option called insert frame hold segment it will make your freeze frame automatically here you can see this is our freeze frame and this is the rest of our clip then if i just play back here this is actually the same thing but this is a much convenient way to make a freeze frame right we don't need to take a screenshot and place it in the middle of our video premiere pro is just making it automatically for us so this is the convenient way to make a freeze frame again if you want to extend this section then you can just drag it here then you can make it a little bit longer or you can just click and press ctrl or command then you can drag it to the right to make it a little bit longer and if you just drag it to the left it will make the duration a little bit shorter and now i'm going to show you the last way that you can use to make a freeze frame suppose uh, this is your video and here you want to make a freeze frame you don't want to use the rest of this clip from here so you can just make a freeze frame just by right clicking on it and clicking at frame hold then the rest of this portion will act like a freeze frame and you will not get the playback of this section so if you're planning to use the rest of your video then don't use this option but if you don't want to use the rest of the clip after make a freeze frame then you can use this option so here is the playback version the video is playing after going to this point it will act like a pauses frame so these are the way that you can use to make freeze frame in adobe premiere pro that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel and if you have interest to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing in general then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye